Hello everyone, my name is Parag. Welcome to Niner Peak. Uh, this is a moto, food, trips, whatever, vlog, blog. Um, today we're gonna cover how to add some handlebar extensions to this 1250 RT. This is a 2021 model. Um, as you can see, the handlebar is not the regular uh, pipe type. Um, not sure if that's what it's called, but it's a classic BMW style handlebar and you cannot really mount any accessories over here. I mean, maybe you could mount up here. Uh, there is a little, little gap over there, but you really cannot do anything. Uh, there's one thing people do is take this BMW logo out and put a uh, fork mount there, fork ram mount. Um, but I'm going to try to attach a couple of extensions over here. One on this side, a second one on this side. So let's see. This is how they look. And so this big portion, big part will go in here. And then you will get this about, about an inch uh, of space to put your cell phone mount, GPS mount, whatever mount you want. I'm mainly doing this on one side for my GoPro. So I can put a GoPro over there recording my way. Um, and also a second one I'm going to put here um, for my cell phone. Well, there's one more thing that I would like to mention is that this RT has a built-in phone charger, right? And it's right here. But here's the problem. Let me just turn this a little bit. Okay, here's the problem. I have my phone. This is iPhone... Uh, 11 pro max the biggest one and i have quad lock which i love absolutely love this case is very tough right but here's the problem with a big phone like this it does not fit it doesn't fit it doesn't go in with this case i mean i can put a slim case or something like that and then it would just slide in easily but with the quad lock with a thick tough case like this it doesn't really fit into this little compartment so i'm not sure maybe i'll be able to remove certain things and maybe if i could remove the small wall this i could make this one fit in um, but again that's for future in the interim what i can do is put a couple of mounts over here or the handlebar extensions over here and use this particular compartment when i have a passenger my wife has a smaller phone that would easily fit in so now she would be able to charge her phone and i would be able to mount and charge with my quad lock wireless charger so this is a torx crew i tried using allen do not use allen <laughs> i just tried my uh, first attempt but yep that didn't go well so i had to get this kit these are very expensive so i would say uh, choose wisely you know, don't buy like one or two. I would recommend just getting the full set. Safety first. So here's my old t-shirt. That's gonna protect the handlebar finish and the gas tank. All right. Let's just open the sucker. <laughs> So once the old bolt is out, we have two new pieces here. One is the extension. So this part is the extension and this is the longer bolt. Let's see how long this new bolt actually is from the original one. That's the difference. So again, so this one goes in here. It probably goes all the way in here up till about a couple of millimeters like this. So this one would be even further. So the number of threads are actually longer. Wow, okay. All right, let's find out how this one works. So one thing I thought is that this handlebar, like one side, as soon as un I unscrew it, it would start moving 
and I'll have to like remember the adjustment. So I had taken some pictures of how exactly the adjustment is, because trust me, I love the current adjustment that I don't need to do anything. Um, I didn't need to change any, any of it. So here you go. You have these two pieces. This one goes in right here and then the bolt goes right through. Okay, so it just sticks out like this. This does not go all the way in. Okay. All right, so that's not bad. I'm gonna change this Torx to Allen key. H8, as you can see over there, that one fits this new bolt. So, yep, it does fit. Let's switch it to... Oh, it's actually tight. Beautiful. Oh, wow. I actually like the finish. It's not complete chrome. It's like a little bit matte finish to it. You see, you can't really see the reflection, but it's pretty dope. Part two. Hopefully there's still two pieces inside. The extension and the new bolt. Yep, they are. Okay. This is, this is made in China and this is for BMW K160, but it does work on all kind of BMWs that has this uh, aluminum style handlebar and not the pipe one. And this one was shipped from eBay. Um, and again, I'll put the link down in the description. This one I received probably in like four days. It shipped from Australia actually. Like I said, they ship it nicely, you see? This one a little polished, so they keep two pieces separate. That way they don't like, you know, scratch each other or something. And I'm gonna take the camera off and show you the different angle. This is how, this is how we do it. No, this is how these two extension rods look like now. Pretty neat. Uh, I was actually going to take this BMW logo out and put the uh, fork uh, extension that comes, you know, a lot of other attachments come out for that one. You know, the ones officially from Quadlog, the ones from GoPro. But yeah, I, I like this logo. That's fine, I don't want to touch it. But this is the best way you can uh, add some extensions there so you can put your mounts. The camera is mounted, it's a little tilted, that's fine. The phone's mounted with my quad lock. This is beautiful and it just looks pretty. The phone is right here. I can easily reach with my throttle arm. Uh, the brakes are linked, so that should not be a problem. Yeah, I don't like this tilted GoPro view. Yeah, it's a little weird. Maybe I'll add a couple of GoPro attachments so I can take it out. Also, it's kind of obstructing my view right now, as you can see. So I don't like this tilted GoPro position, but my quad lock is perfect. Perfect to fit. I think I'm gonna connect the power cable here and we'll run it through all the way down under the tank all the way to the batteries so this beauty can wirelessly charge yeah frankly speaking all my controls are here so i prefer my phone to be on this side uh, that way if i need to quickly glance something if i'm not getting to that button um, i'll be able to still see over here it doesn't really matter phone will block like this much the only thing i have here is lock mode change and ignition so none of this is actually i touch once the motorcycle begins uh, rolling hit the like button here and also subscribe and hit the bell icon it really helps the channel out thank you very much